Catherine, and today we'll be making a red river hog crap. Red river hogs are bush pigs that live in African forests. Hogs are all considered pigs, but not all pigs are considered hogs. You can see these pigs digging around at the Congo gorilla forest at the Bronx Zoo. For today's craft, the material you'll need is two paper plates. We're gonna need one big and one small, but if you don't have small plates, then you can just cut inner circle on the big paper plate out. We're gonna need a pair of scissors, glue or tape, an eraser, pencil, and any sort of coloring utensil like markers, paint, or crayons. So the first step is if you don't have a small paper plate, then cut the inner circle of big paper plate out so that it's roughly this size. Then you're gonna take one of your sheets of paper and we're going to cut two strips of paper that are roughly one inch thick and three inches wide. So cut out two strips of paper. These will become the pig's legs. When you're cutting, make sure you have an adult with you. Make sure you don't hurt yourself. So these are what your strips of paper should look like. And once you have that done, you're going to cut two rectangles that are the same width as the strips of paper. These will become the hooks, so you want to make sure that they're the same size as the rectangle. See? So they're roughly the same size. It's okay if they're not perfect, though. Once you have these rectangles cut out, to make them look like hooves, we're going to cut triangles into the bottom of one side. Red river hogs are actually, even though they have hooves, they're surprisingly good swimmers and are often seen cooling off and swimming around in Congo rivers. So you should have hooves and legs that look just, just like this. So once you have that, you can put these off to the side for now. The next step is to cut to who you want to draw these out, draw two circles and cut them for eyes. So this is going to be the face. So you want to have them, you can choose how big you want them, but two circles that will become the eyes. So you have two circles cut out for the eyes. Next, we're going to cut out an oval for the nose. This is also going on, go on the face right below the eyes. So you don't want to make it too big but roughly three inches long and about an inch wide. I'll show you mine. So here's my oval. It's about this big. Put that off to the side. And next we're going to cut what will be the tail. So you're going to cut a thin strip of paper that's about the length that we did for the feet, about half an inch wide. Here we go. So just like this. The next thing we're going to cut is the ear. And as you can see, Red River Hogs have interesting looking ears. They have these large ears to intimidate predators and make them look bigger. So, a simple way to draw the ears is to draw a circle and then a triangle coming off it with some lines for the hair. So, I'll cut out mine to show you what mine looks like. They're a little tricky to draw, so you may want to try and do it a few times before you cut, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Red River Hugs have a lot of hair, so you can add as much of it as little as you want at the end. So it looks kind of weird, but here's what I have my ear looking like. So once you do one, if you want, you can just flip it over and trace on the paper. That way they look similar. And then cut it out and do the same thing. So now everything will be cut out and you should have all these scraps over here that we're gonna need later. So now that everything's cut, we're gonna color things in. Take your big paper plate, and if you don't have one that doesn't have its plain, it has designs on the front, that's fine. I only had ones with designs, so if you flip it over, it's usually white on the back. So, as you can see, Red River Hogs have this white stripe going down their back. So you want to leave part of the back length. So if you want to draw a line with pencil, it's just like a triangle or a stripe going down, and that part we're going to leave blank. So the rest we're gonna color in this reddish brown color. As you can see, Red River Hogs have this orangish brown color. They actually change color as they grow up. 
when they're young, they start off with looking a darker brown color with yellow stripes, and then as they grow, their stripes start to disappear until they turn this reddish brown color. So you can use orange, brown, red, a mix of any colors. I'm going to use orange and brown. So color your plate all the way in, except for that white stripe. So it may take a while, but once you're done, you should have the whole plate colored in, except for that white stripe going down right here. So the next step, the next step is we're going to move on to the face. So take that small circle or pit plate that you cut out and we're going to decorate it. When threatened, Red River Hogs will puff out all this fur on their face to scare predators or other pigs away. So to color it in, Red River Hogs have white around their eyes and then black on the bottom of their face. So we don't have the eyes on yet, but if you want to draw out with pencil, here's a photo. If you want to draw out with pencil, where you think the eyes are going to be and then leave a blank white space around it. It looks almost like a mask if you see. So the right here and then the bottom in black. And then once you have that mask drawn in, below it you can take your black color and just color the whole bottom of the face in black. So right underneath that part that you drew in white, just color in black. And because we're using paper plates, you're gonna get these white spots and that's totally fine. It'll make it look more like fur. So once we have the black side colored in, you can see that the top of their faces are that same orange or brown color. So use whatever color you used before and color it everywhere up top except for that white part that we left around the eyes. In the end, you should get something that looks kind of like this. It looks a little weird right now, but we're gonna add in the rest of the details. So. The next thing we're going to color in are those ears that we cut out. So, as you can see, Red River Hogs, they have these long black hairs and then orange on the inside and a little bit of white on top. So, the best way for I see to color it in is outline the whole ears in black. So, once they're outlined, then draw a small black line underneath that leaves white space up here for that white part. And then the rest you can fill in with hair because they have these tufts of hair in their ear. So if you want to make it look like there's ear coming, hair coming out of their ears, then you might just want to draw some lines from the beginning. These pigs are often also called tufted pigs because of all the tufts they have of hair they have on their face. So once you have this drawn in, you can shade in the background with orange or pink, a light pink, whichever you like. Here's what the ears look like, so you can be as creative as you want, add as much hair, and do with it as you like. And once you have one ear done, just color in the same on the other one. So here's how my ears came out, and we can put those off to the side for now. The next step is to take that oval that we cut out earlier, and this is going to become the nostrils. So take your black and draw two dots in the middle for nostrils. Just like this. And then, as you can see, Red River Hogs have these big noses that are grayish color, so if you want to color them in gray. Red River Hogs use their noses to find food. They can dig through the ground with their noses and smell out different seeds, fruits, and vegetables that they use to eat. Next, take those three strips of paper that we cut out for the legs and the tail and color them that same orange-brown color that we colored in the bodies. With the thin strip of paper for the tail, make sure that you color both sides because we're going to be seeing both sides. Next, take the hooves that we cut out earlier and color those black. The last thing we have to color is those circles we cut out for the eyes. So you can do eyes however you like, but I like to do them just by drawing a circle inside or at the bottom and it looks just like eyes. Now that everything's colored, we're going to start gluing or taping everything together. So the first thing we're going to start with is the face. So take that small paper plate and grab the nose that we made. Put some glue on the back. And you're going to put it right in between the white and the black part, just like this. And then right above the nose, glue the eyes. 
right in that white area. So you should have this little face now. It's starting to come together. So the next thing we're gonna take is the ears. So you can either glue them on the front or the back of your plate, it's up to you. We'll put a little bit of glue on the sides and then attach them to the small plate. Once the ears are glued on, the face is done. It should be looking something like this. It's starting to get really cute. So next take the legs that we colored in and the hooves and then glue one hoof to each leg. So now we have completed legs and you're gonna take the big paper plate and glue the legs onto the back of them. Some paper plates have a bigger ridge like this, so you might want to use tape for this part. Like mine, I'm going to use tape. So here's what the body looks like with the legs on. Next thing, take that strip of paper we use for the tail and grab anything skinny and round, like a pencil, and you're going to wrap the paper around. Once you take it off, you should have a little curly tail, and then you can glue or tape that onto the back of the plate, wherever you like. I'm gonna put mine right at the top. Now that the body and the face are complete, put some glue on the back of the face, and then put it right in the middle of the body. Once that's glued down, you have your completed Red River Hog Crab. Here you go. They look pretty similar in my opinion. I hope you enjoyed this craft. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. Make sure that you recycle any paper scraps you use. Um, and if you have any other questions about the Red River Hogs, you can visit, you can find out more about them on WCS's website or learn about their habitat, the Congo. Hope you had fun. Thank you.